ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Ian, before like people start getting really, really weird. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we're trying to get really weird. We don't want to cause a scene here, otherwise yeah. we're going to be thrown out. We don't, yeah, we don't want to have the situation. Oh, wait, okay. oh, wait don't oh, be on the board one. Okay, go. You know the song we were singing? Go ahead, Ian. Well, Madonna, here we are in the Rockefeller Center. Yes. Causing a bit of a stir, actually. Mm -hmm. First of all, congratulations on uh, holiday. Oh, my God. Thank 10. you. And we said burning up was going to do it. Yeah. And it's starting to do it. So tell us now, what's, uh, what's in store for the rest of 84? You were talking about an album before. Right, it's finished, it's in the cans, it's going to be released. The first single is going to be released in America the first week of July. Right. So, and then the album will come out a month later. Now you've got a sort of a strange situation as far as like the top ten is concerned, or like around the, around the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, like Borderline is still roaring up the American charts, and Borderline hasn't been released in Australia and a lot of other territories. Right. So it must be a sort of a bit of a hard decision that you're going to bring out a new album. Well, it's not a hard decision because to me, I mean, Australia's just catching up with right. the but things. Right. Even America. I mean. Well, Borderline, it's not going to be released until Borderline is, you know, it's had its time. Right. You know, I, I, I think by the end, I think by the first week of July, it would be a really good time to release something new. And I definitely don't want to release any more singles from my album. Right. And um, then Australia will catch up. And then when I release my album in America in the fall, I think I, I, I hope to re release it in Australia simultaneously. Right. Now, I was asking about when you actually write songs. I mean, how do you approach writing songs? Um, well, when I have free time basically yeah, yeah um, in a hotel room I mean when you're writing lyrics you can write them anytime you have free time but the music is really when I have a good area of time where I have nothing to do and that hasn't been for a while so so what instruments do you use to actually write then keep uh, keyboard synthesizer and sometimes guitar but mostly synthesizer right so how, how long have you been playing keyboards for five years right yeah five years now I mean your association with Jelly Bean, how much influence does he have, have on your music and your production? Well, obviously a lot on, on production, but on your music itself? Um, and the sounds? Well, he's had a lot of influence on me just because I always hang out at the fun house and I listen to all his mixes all the time. Right. So when I'm making records, I always try and keep in mind, like, would he like it? And what, you know, the qualities and stuff that he brought into Holiday and a lot of the mixes on my first album. I, I learned a lot from that, and I just take what I know and, and instill that in the stuff that I'm doing right now with Nile Rogers. Right. And I always, I always want to make a few songs that John can play in a discotheque. So. Right. Now, touring-wise, how will you how will you cope with that, and how will you approach that? Um, going live on stage. I'm going to have a band. I'm going to get a band together. After I'm going to Europe to do some television shows, and then I'm going to do another video for my new album, and then I'll spend the rest of the summer getting a band together and do a tour in the fall with a band and dancers and like just a whole circus of people. Right. Well, congratulations. Um, <laughs> not, only, not only for Australia, but for, for America as well. Mm -hmm. um, we've still got Borderline to come. Yeah. Um, and as I say, burning up, well, it's burning up the charts, so yes. at least I kept that promise. Thank you. All right. And uh, we look forward to seeing you down in Australia soon. Thanks a lot. Okay. You're still as crazy as I remember you the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Good. Now, listen, we're going to just do a couple of promos. Okay. Um,